I'm gonna try really hard not to turn this into just a rant about the movie. But there will be comparisons. There's no help yet. Because this week, I'm talking about The Shining by Stephen King. And we're going to talk about it right now. Welcome to Back Reviews Books. I am Matt. And this is a book review channel and book related. Talk about all sorts of books. New books, old books, comic books, fiction, nonfiction. If it's ink on page, I'm probably going to try reading it. And if I like it, I'll probably talk about it, with two exceptions. No romance and no YA. Didn't mean to flip you all off if you're in your room. Sorry. This week, we're going to talk about The Shining by Stephen King. It's a creepy, slow burn with sympathetic characters and evocative writing. It's what I think about when I think about haunted houses stories, or haunted hotel stories in this case. The Shining is a story of a writer trying to make a new start with his family. He's trying to repair his marriage and heal a damaged relationship with his son, all while trying to complete a new play following a series of unfortunate events that really were of his own making jack torrance takes a job as the winter caretaker at a remote hotel in colorado the overlook hotel he moves his family from connecticut to colorado where they will be living in isolation for several months jack is a writer who is trying to restore some semblance of sanity to his life. He's a recovering alcoholic. He's often a good time drunk, but those good time drunks often resolve themselves into drunken rages. Jack's flawed, admittedly. He's an alcoholic who's trying to stop drinking, and at the beginning of the book, he hasn't had a drink in five months. But he's not really in recovery in the sense that he's going to AA and trying to work through his addiction. He's what would be referred to as a dry drunk. He has a history of abusing his son, Danny, while drinking. And at one point prior to the beginning of the book, he accidentally breaks Danny's arm during a rage. Jack's wife, Wendy, is caught in a hard choice. She can leave Jack and take their son, Danny, and go live with her emotionally manipulative and abusive mother. Wendy understands her choices are not good. She's very much a codependent spouse and makes the choice to stay with Jack because of her faith in his sober nature. She also has a strong personality with a sense of her relationship with Jack. Danny, Jack and Wendy's son, is far more articulate and erudite than a child generally is at his age. He's a very intelligent little boy with the ability to read minds and see other things that other people can't see, like ghosts, which the hotel cook Dick Halloran calls the shine. Much of the haunting activity is revealed through Danny's awareness of what's going on and his awareness of the spirits in the hotel. So, The Shining is the story of a family struggling with addiction and dysfunction. It's that dysfunction that the hotel takes advantage of. For example, Jack has memories of his abusive father beating his mother at the dinner table, and he starts to hear his father's voice, not as a memory, but as an external voice guiding him. For Jack, it's a painful series of memories that really becomes his fear that one day he'll become just like his father and treat Wendy and Danny the same way. It's also one of the core elements of the story that's left out of Kubrick's movie. It's almost as if the elements that made The Shining a human tragedy as well as a horror story were those same elements that Kubrick was the most uncomfortable portraying 
The Overlook Hotel is a haunted hotel. It takes advantage of Jack's alcoholism, but also takes advantage of Wendy's emotional issues. The tragedy of The Shining is the descent of an average man into madness. The madness of the Overlook Hotel is a metaphor for the madness of addiction. One of those elements that is glossed over and not really depicted in the movie is that Jack Torrance dearly loves his family. He loves Wendy and he loves Danny and he would do anything and he is trying to do everything he can to keep from ever hurting them again. It's his, it's his love for his son in particular that adds to the horror at the end of the book. Unlike the film, Jack briefly regains control of himself to give his son a chance to run away, to escape. The Shining exemplifies one of the elements that makes Stephen King's writing so good. What makes him scary is not necessarily the monsters or the things that go bump in the night, but that the things that go bump in the night are intimately familiar to us and that the loved ones around us that we are so comfortable with can become threats. That's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more book reviews, click that uh, subscribe button. It's over here. Maybe it's over here. I don't know. It's your computer. Maybe it's on your phone. Maybe it's on a tablet. Who knows? Maybe you're watching on a smart TV. Either way, follow along. Just so you know, I don't just talk about books. I have written one myself just to prove to myself how hard it is that the great ones like Stephen King takes a lot of work to do it. And I don't say that I'm very great, but might be passing fair. So check it out. Links in the description below. And with that, I will see you next time.